Liberty lovers fuming over President Biden's sweeping vaccine mandate. One Tennessee mayor says he is refusing to comply. Knox County Mayor Republican Glenn Jacobs, a.k.a. Kane from WWE. He wrote a letter to the president saying in part, quote, in Knox County, we know what we stand for. We stand for freedom. We stand for the rule of law. We stand for the Constitution. And you can rest assured that we will stand against your blatant and egregious executive overreach. So is the law on his side. Joining me to discuss, Mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, Glenn Jacobs, is back. One of my very favorite freedom fighters. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show. So this is obviously executive overreach, regardless of how you feel about COVID. No one likes COVID. No one wants COVID. No one wants anyone to get or give COVID. But the, the president cannot make these mandates. As you say, it's a violation of both the First and Tenth Amendments. Well, absolutely. And this is not about the vaccines. Um, you know, that's a completely different issue. And as you said, it's not about COVID itself, although that precipitated all of this, of course. But it is about the president just deciding that I'm going to write a law myself. I'm going to go around Congress. I'm going to use an emergency order through OSHA and the Department of Labor that's going to impact tens of millions of people. And I'm going to do it without any debate. And that's not how you do things constitutionally. And that's not how we should do things in America. And as you pointed out, you know, there's a labor shortage right now. It's really hard to get people to go to work. Are you finding that in Knox County? Absolutely. The Knox County government employs about 2,700 people. So we are a pretty large employer, and we have a lot of open spots that we're trying to fill. And then we look at the private sector, it, it's the same thing. You know, there's help wanted signs everywhere, now hiring signs everywhere around the county. And of course, what this is going to do is this is going to hamper our ability and folks in the private sector uh, even more from attracting quality employees, because some people just aren't going to want to go along with the vaccine mandate, and they're not going to work someplace that has one. So it's really interesting because uh, Bill Maher brought this up last week on Jimmy Kimmel. He said for touring acts, whether it's comics or musicians, it's impossible for them to perform in blue states because uh, the, the press has been scaring the living daylights out of them. But in red states where things are more rational and, and people are told to make their best decisions for themselves, you can go and play and perform and make money. Is, is there a clear demarcation right now between blue states and red states and who will ultimately prevail? I think we are almost living in two Americas. Uh, you know, say, look at this weekend uh, in New York City, you have a vaccine mandate. Meanwhile, down here at SEC football, we've got 100,000 fans at the games. Um, so, th yes, there is this clear demarcation between the two Americas. Uh, economically, of course, I think that um, the, the folks that have done a much more reasonable job of dealing with COVID and taking a much more comprehensive approach in that they protected individual liberty, uh, they've thought about the economic implications of all these things. I think that they're gonna win out. Uh, our economy is really strong in Knox County, um, just like everyone else. It's, it's very tragic what's happened with COVID here, um, but our economy is strong because we've taken a much more even-handed approach than many places around the country have. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people are looking to places like Tennessee uh, to pick up and, and move and put their root down long term because they want to live in a place where, you know, freedom and liberty are respected. When the president says it's not about freedom. That, like a giant alarm should go off in everyone's mind so they understand, no, it is about freedom. Yeah, it's, it's America, Kennedy. It's always about freedom here. It That's always right. should be about freedom. Glenn Jacobs, uh, you are phenomenal. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good to talk to you. Thank you.